Here we're asked to graph the equation y equals 2x plus 3 given a domain of all real numbers. In this situation, I would first set up a chart that we can use to organize our information. Down the left side of the chart, we have our different values for x that we'll be plugging into the equation. Down the right side of the chart, we have our different values for y that we end up with. And in the middle, we have the side of the equation that contains the x, in this case, 2x plus 3. Since our domain is all real numbers, we can choose any values we want to to plug into the equation for x. So let's go with the values 1, 0, and negative 1, just to keep things simple. So plugging a 1 into the equation for x, we have 2 times 1 plus 3, or 2 plus 3, which is 5. Plugging a 0 into the equation for x, we have 2 times 0 plus 3, which is 0 plus 3, or 3. Plugging a negative 1 into the equation for x, we have 2 times negative 1 plus 3, which is negative 2 plus 3, or 1. I would always choose at least three values to plug into the equation for x. Notice that we now have three points that we can use to graph this equation. Our points are 1, 5, 0, 3, and negative 1, 1. So setting up our coordinate system, we have 1, 5, zero, three, and negative one, one. Notice the pattern that is formed by these three points. They all lie along the same line. In fact, if we had chosen any other value to plug into the equation for x besides one, zero, or negative one, we would have ended up with a different point, but that point would also lie along this line. So the graph of this equation is the line that contains these three points.